Hi friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you the design of uh, Boeing 737-800 Horizontal Stabilizer. So uh, I'm going to talk about the design intent and how the design is being done uh, in the KTIV-5 in the part design uh, workbench. So basically, uh, let me explain you what this uh, stabilizer means. An aircraft stabilizer is an aerodynamic surface including mobile flight control surfaces that provides longitudinal or directional stability and control. Depending on the context, stabilizer may sometimes describe only the front part of the tail assembly. Stabilizers can feature fixed or adjustable structures on which mobile control surfaces are hinged, or they can be a fully mobile surface such as stabilator. In the conventional aircraft configuration, stabilizers form an impinage position at the tail of the aircraft, with the vertical and horizontal stabilizers being distinct elements, as you can see in this particular case in Boeing 737. Other tail arrangements, such as the V-tail configuration, provide a combination of uh, longitudinal pitch and directional yaw stabilization and control. Longitudinal stability and control may be obtained with other wing configuration, including the canard tandem wing and the tailless aircraft. Sometimes the aircraft are stabilized with electronic flight control. In this case, fixed and mobile surfaces located anywhere along the aircraft may serve as active motion dampers or stabilizers. So that's all. That's a little bit information about the uh, uh, stabilizers. And uh, let me move on to the design part. So the design part is uh, pretty easy if you're provided with the uh, what do you say uh, the airfoil. So it consists of uh, a padding, basically a padding, and uh, a multi-section. So this is the multi-section part. So let me move on to the multi-section part. So you've got two sketches here, two uh, airfoils. One is uh, right over here, and one is right over here. So both of uh, both of the uh, airfoils will be of the same shape, and uh, it will be of a different size. That's it, and of a, a particular offset. So the offset size, the airfoils, everything. Uh, if you are a designer, uh, you'll be provided with the drawings and all the details uh, related to it. So based on that, you're supposed to create two uh, airfoils over here. So this is the second airfoil, and this is the first airfoil here. And uh, you place this airfoil uh, based on this particular sketch you can see here. So this is a basic sketch. So these kind of sketches will be provided with you uh, if you are a designer. So and place the airfoils with this particular distance and do the multi-section. So you will get this particular part here. So once you're done with that part, you need to create the next part that is a padding. So for the padding, uh, you need to have a basic sketch. So either you can place a sketch inside of uh, the uh, part. So as you can see here, it's the inside. So it's not a pretty good, uh, uh, you know, way of putting it inside. Uh, whereas you can put it outside also. So you can place a plane over here using the distance offset. Create a plane here and then do the sketch over here and then do a uh, pad up to next and the padding will be created up to this particular surface here so uh, that's uh, all about the design of uh, horizontal stabilizer and this part is a pretty important part uh, when it comes to airliners so thank you so much for watching i hope this tutorial uh, has helped you in learning what exactly is this uh, stabilizer is and how uh, horizontal stabilizer can be created using KTW5 the part design workbench so thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, please uh, you know let me know if uh, you have any suggestions regarding my video and uh, let me know if you need any help or assistance in your projects and uh, I will be helping you out if you are getting any doubts uh, you can ask me uh, the tutorials which you need and I'll be uploading that thank you so much